The students were taking a break in the classroom when Mr. Payton entered the room and began rifling through a bag which contained a handgun that belonged to one of the students. The owner of the bag was able to prevent the gun from being stolen and Mr. Payton was escorted out of the classroom at that time. An employee spoke to Mr. Payton for several minutes trying to figure out what he was doing in the gun range. A short time later, another employee called police to report the attempted grand larceny. Three employees escorted Mr. Payton outside of the business and waited for officers to arrive. Officer Wynn and his partner instructed Mr. Payton to stand in front of their patrol vehicle. Mr. Payton ignored those instructions and started to walk away while hiding his right hand in his jacket pocket. Officers attempted to grab Mr. Payton, but he pulled away and still refused to listen to the officers. Officers attempted to grab Mr. Payton by his arms once again to gain control of him. This time, Mr. Payton pulled away and produced a screwdriver from his pocket and violently attacked the officers. Mr. Payton made several overhand strikes with the screwdriver towards one of the officer's head and neck area. Mr. Payton was able to stab one officer during his violent attack. As the injured officer fell to the ground, Officer Wynn and three employees of the business discharged their firearms, striking Mr. Payton. Officers immediately summoned medical personnel, but Mr. Payton succumbed to his injuries at the scene.